It's such a freeing feeling. The thought that I'm completely out of the matrix. I'm completely free to roam whenever I want to be. I'm independent of everyone in this world. That's because I'm self-sufficient in most ways. I can imagine a more comfortable space than this. It's nearly everything a bedroom with an attached office should be. You could also say it's partly a kitchen and a bathroom and a storage closet. It's complete independence. It's getting fast internet and phone wirelessly and power from the thermonuclear reactor in the sky. I use that to power all of my electric needs. With just two 100 watt solar panels, I keep all my lights on. My electronics are fully charged like my laptop and my phone. I have an electric scooter that's always topped off and ready to go. I even have a fridge that freezes snacks for me. And then I also have an oven to reheat foods from that fridge. Sure, it's not the standard way of doing things in life. It's a little quirky in every way compared to like living in a house or apartment living. But it's all here in a very small space that I refer to as cozy. It's all paid for and it doesn't require a $2,000 a month rent payment like here in the Bay Area in California. The streets are now my front and my backyard. I live stealth so most people don't even see me. My camper van is like a gully suit a sniper would wear. It makes me comfortably blend in with my surroundings such that the human brain won't perceive anything to be there. But I'm there. Most of my comforts are there. I'm comfortably heated in my little cocoon, curled up writing, reading, uh, listening to music, watching video, or interacting with people on the internet. Hopefully one day I'll be working and earning an income. That's when the dream will be recognized. I look up to people I hear about that rent out their condo and move into a bus, and some may, may call these people crazy, that's usually how the person will be described in the conversation, but I see them as brilliant. They figured out how to break out of the matrix, the rent matrix. They figured out when most people don't even see the problem. This person has figured out that if they become the landlord, the lord of the land, and they rent out their assets they'll receive a steady income each month. Whatever it may be, it'll help pay for real necessities like food and fuel. As a van dweller, we figured out how to reduce our consumption and resources, and our only needs become food and fuel cost at an absolute minimum. You could live for under $1,000 just fine in a van. So I see this person who moves into a bus as brilliant. They figured out how to take the debt system and turn it around so it's funding their mobile lifestyle. I haven't been lucky enough to figure out my strategy just yet, but I see the formula that works. I look at people like Will Burson on YouTube. He rents out a home and uses the income as what he calls a leg to his table. He has four income streams, and one of them is Lord of the Land. I hope one day I can realize this dream of mine, complete financial freedom in life. I think that's what we refer to as retirement, but I want to do it now. And van dwelling is my vehicle.